Welcome. In this module, we're going to talk about critical security control number five, controlled use of administrative privileges, which is very, very important because the administrators uh, who have the highest privilege level, uh, they need to be um, monitored and they need to be controlled and whatever their activities are, they need to be approved. Now, this is the overall view of the critical security controls from CIS. And we're now on the fifth control, controlled use of administrative privileges. And as you can see, the blue bracket on the left, it shows that the top uh, five or the first five critical controls uh, out of the 20 are the most important ones. 5.1, minimize administrative privileges and only use administrative accounts when they are required. So this is called uh, the least uh, privilege principle. Always give the least privilege which is required for the work. And uh, we should never go with the highest privilege or giving everybody a very high privilege or giving everybody a similar role. It should, uh, so this is what we call role-based access control with least privilege principle. And minimize administrative privileges and only use administrative accounts when they are required. And we must make sure that we know when they are required. Implement focused auditing on the use of administrative privilege functions and monitor for anomalous behavior. You must audit, um, you must log the uh, privileged account or administrator account activity. And whenever there is some behavior which is away from the norm or away from uh, what the authorized activity is, uh, then uh, we should be able to, to detect and track it. So here, uh, for example, if um, the administrator is only permitted to access the server from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and you see an access at 10 p.m. or midnight, uh, then that is anomalous behavior which is away from the norm and that create, should create an alarm that you know what's going on. 5.2, use automated tools to inventory all administrative accounts and validate that each person with administrative privileges on desktops, laptops, and servers is authorized by a senior executive. So here again, uh, the importance of automated tools is very much there, being suggested by uh, Center for Internet Security, critical controls, and you can easily go onto Google and search these controls, and you'll be able to find some open source versions as well. Before deploying any new devices in a networked environment, change all default passwords for applications, operating systems, routers, firewalls, wireless access points, and other systems to have values consistent with administration level accounts. So obviously, the default passwords like uh, Cisco and uh, Cisco 123 on a network, uh, on a network device, for example, they all need to be changed. Configure systems to issue a log entry and alert when an account is added to or removed from a domain administrator's group or when a new local administrator account is added on a system because the domain administrator has uh, the highest privilege level and we need to create a log. Configure systems to issue a log entry and alert on any unsuccessful login to an administrative account. And what's important here is that you also need to review the logs. And usually what is done is that you can have a cross-team uh, log verification so that the network team views the system's logs and the system team, for example, views the database logs, and the database te team reviews the application logs. So there can be a, this uh, cross mechanism or matrix mechanism where uh, different teams view the logs of different other organizations or entities, or the logs can be reviewed by the information security team, which is an independent, independent team altogether, and that is the best way. That's all that we have for this module. Thank you.